everyone? It's your girl Glamour Puss MD here, AKA Olivia, and today we're talking about the five things you must know about pulling out. So in the real world, which is what we're in, the pullout method is actually only 73% effective, which really sucks. This means that one in four couples who practice the pullout method and who are on no other forms of birth control have a chance of becoming pregnant. I don't know about you, but that is not a chance I'm willing to take. So let's go over a few basics. Pre-cum is the fluids that help get the sperm into the uterus and into the fallopian tube to meet up with an egg. It shouldn't have any sperm in it. But if you have had an ejaculation and there are still sperm in your urethra, which is the part of your penis where you pee out of, then pre-cum could have sperm in it. So it is possible to get pregnant with pre-cum. Even if you do get the sperm around the vulva on the outside, it could sneak on up and get your spermy boys in her uterus. It's still possible. Accidents could happen. You could accidentally come inside her because you're all like, and then bam, you come. If an accident does happen, plan B is a great resource to use as an emergency, but it would be just best to protect yourself from the get-go. If you're using the pull-out method, you're using it because you and your partner are in a committed relationship and if you happen to get pregnant by accident, you guys were like, yeah, that's okay because we were somewhat planning it anyway. And not only are you in a committed relationship, but that both of you have gotten STI checks because you shouldn't be using the pull out method or you shouldn't even be having sex without any sort of protection if you are in a non-monogamous relationship. You don't know what other people have. So if you're with a guy who uses the don't worry, I'll pull out method, consider being with another guy because he might not be the most responsible person that you're having sex with. I'm on the pill and my boyfriend still pulls out and we're in a monogamous relationship and we got our STI checks before we even began having sex. But now it is unprotected. So all in all, if you want to use the pull out method, the best way to use it is if your girlfriend is already on birth control. So she has another barrier and is effectively using it. And then you can use the pull out method if both of you have gotten your STI checks and are in a monogamous relationship. I hope that wasn't as complicated as it just sounded. That is when to use the pull out method. I hope you learned something. Please share with your friends. Like below, subscribe, and peace out.